Hello everybody, welcome to iExambi's Legal B. This is Amrita, your law faculty at iExambi. I have a video for all those who are preparing for SEBI Grade A Legal Officer examination. But before we start with our discussion, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Press on this bell icon and stay updated with all the recent updates relating to law examinations and all the opportunities, vacancies, notifications of exams that are coming out, strategy videos and what not. Uske alawa, aap website pe visit karke courses bhi check out kar sakte hain. All the courses that you can prepare for law examinations, be it CB, be it other banking examinations, law officer examinations, judiciary, all the courses you can check out. You can call on this number if you want any details and you can also write to us at hello at the rate iExambi.com if you have any queries. Aap is video ke comment section mein bhi apne queries post kar sakte hain. Now, I know that those who aspire to become a law officer at SEBI, those who are having a die-hard dream that they want to become a SEBI grade A legal officer and for that are eagerly waiting at when the notification will be out, when we will be able to give the examination and so on. Kafi students ke minds mein ye question hai and I have come across such questions. That's why I thought that I should come up with a solution to it which I can recommend you that what you can do in such kind of a situation such kind of uncertainty ultimately aapka call hai aapka decision hai but I I wanted to share something valuable with you people at this time there is a lot of uncertainty I can understand your situation we, we can understand that this is not an easy task when you are eagerly waiting for the notification and it makes us restless that we are not able to decide that how to study, what to study until we have the exact date that when the exam will be conducted. So these are the common problems which students face not only with this exam but aise kai exams hai jo aise problems hote hai and this is something which happens. So that's why I would like to tell you that this happens accept the situation and bring yourself to a situation to, to a solution accept this uncertainty and decide what next not certain about the notification what to do there is certainty there is uncertainty be clear with that accept it and move ahead. What next? What is your next plan? Are you just going to think about the notification? You are going to think whether it will happen this year, whether it will not happen this year or you will go for plan B, C, D. That is your choice. You want to make a plan for your preparation that whenever the notification comes, you have to be exam ready. See, competitive examinations are of such a nature that you cannot just start your preparation when the notification comes because notification comes one or two months before, not more than that. And one or two months preparation is not really enough for tough examinations. Don't forget that you have to crack phase one as well as phase two. So, if you preparation, agar aap chahte hai ki competitive level par best ho, so you should be happy that you are getting a lot of time. So think like that, think positively, just don't think some aspects that there is uncertainty. Uske baare mein soch soch ke apna time waste na karke, utilize the time and I will definitely tell you at the end of this video without stretching it more that for what things you should utilize this time basically. How you should plan your study in this time when you don't have any target date for the exam that whether it will take place this year or not. So what you can do at this moment that I'm going to tell you soon. So do watch this video till the end. Time management is very important key in any competitive examination. Remember you prepare for years but still you're not able to crack the exam. So the main important element is time management. When you take up the exam at that time also, your time management is very important. Suppose your examination is of two hours or three hours. If you are not able to manage your time well in those two or three hours, whatever the definite time period is, you cannot crack the examination because of your lack of time management. Similar is for the preparation as well. 
if you're not preparing according to proper time strains or your plan then your preparation fails because your preparation has to be balanced so right now you have to utilize your time which is ample we can assume that you have ample amount of time right now you don't have a definite time period so what is the advantage of ample amount of time try to understand that अगर आपके पास एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम है तो आप इस एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम को पॉजिटिवली कैसे यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं ये मैं आपको बताऊंगी हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स आर समथिंग विच यू शुड पिक राइट नाउ लाइक वी जस्ट सजेस्ट दैट फोकस ऑन द इम्पॉर्टेंट एरियाज बट वेन द एग्जाम कम्स नियर आर स्ट्रैटेजी चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू द नंबर ऑफ डेज लेफ्ट बट अभी जो आपके पास टाइम है एम्पल टाइम जैसे फुर्सत का टाइम कह सकते हैं हाई वेटेज टॉपिक्स को उठाना है बट एट द सेम टाइम यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर फोकसिंग एंड कार्विंग आउट द चैलेंजिंग टॉपिक्स फॉर यू चैलेंजिंग टॉपिक्स फॉर यू अगेन एंड अगेन आई विल टेल यू ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सबको आता हो ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सबको डिफिकल्ट लगता हो सो वॉट टॉपिक इज चैलेंजिंग फॉर यू यू शुड पिक दैट अप practicing mock tests as much as you can as i told you time management is a very efficient skill that you can develop through practicing mock tests you can develop it the best ye aap now mock tests se kar sakte hain abhi aapke paas time hai to aap mocks regularly dijiye jitne mocks de sakte hain utne dijiye visit i exam b www.iexambi.com all the mock tests are free check them out and prepare 50% faster this will definitely help you out a lot focus on the core areas and the difficult areas there will be certain areas which are good easy for you and certain areas which you find difficult you have not read it much in your college times but they are the core areas also aisa nahi hona chahiye ki aapko wo subject difficult lagta hai but wo exam ke liye itna weightage hi hold nahi karta so your priority should be the difficult areas and at the same time the areas should be core ones so all these criteria you have to make sure that you are focusing on this particular area right now rather than just thinking about the exam and the notification jab bhi hoga exam aapka ultimate dream agar hai ki aapko civil officer banna hai chahe jab bhi exam ho to aapki preparation aapko consistent rakhni bahut zaruri hai chalk out and plan accordingly this is the syllabus i have shared with you you can pause the video and check it out in detail phase 1 as well as phase 2 target both the phases as of now don't just prepare from the point of view of phase 1 keep phase 2 as well in mind because right now you are having a lot of time so you can focus on thorough preparation right now that's why i have come up with this video ki aap abhi ye samjhe ki aapki padhai ka tarika kya hona chahiye you should focus on thorough preparation of the subjects core and deep knowledge of the important subjects that is what is the thing which you have to keep in mind and approach you have to plan according to that only keep your approach not just focusing on the important areas which we do when we prepare at the last moment so isko acche se study kijiye aapke syllabus ko analyze kijiye mock test solve kijiye that will also give you a good analysis of your weak areas on which you can focus now solve your doubts from your mentors or anybody any experts any i'm not just saying that you have to come to exam be only there can be any of your mentors you can go to them and clear your doubts now as you have good amount of time list of topics which i would like to recommend you right now will be constitution of india as it has a 10% weightage i'm talking these weightages from the angle of phase 1 securities law 15% weightage company law 15% weightage why i am focusing on these three topics this will change from person to person this is a subjective thing and this will definitely change from person to person so according to your situation and analysis you have to choose your subjects but why i am recommending these three topics right now because ye topics ke liye aapko thorough preparation ki zarurat hai and in topics ka weightage bhi kafi hai phase 1 mein inka weightage hai 40% 40% is not a small number it is a good amount of weightage and the topics are also tedious company law securities law ये दोनों लॉज काफ़ी 
वास्ट है एंड इन लॉज में जनरली हमने फोकस नहीं किया होता है सिक्योरिटीज लॉ पे काफ़ी कम फोकस किया होता है एल में सो so, ये सारे फैक्ट्स ध्यान में रख के आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट थारो प्रिपरेशन बाकी सारे टॉपिक्स छोड़कर अभी आग बंद करके इन तीन टॉपिक्स को कोर टॉपिक्स को स्ट्रांग बनाने पर फोकस करो यूटिलाइज दिस टाइम पॉजिटिवली डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट सक्सेस टू मोस्ट पावरफुल वॉरियर्स आर पेशेंस एंड टाइम एंड आपका अभी ये चेक पे है so be successful in this war of patience and time and this is a life lesson for you if you cross this definitely you will achieve success and uh, and achieve your dreams with flying colors all the best for your preparation don't forget to subscribe and prepare 50% faster with i exam b thank you